Welcome to the Potter Blog site. It's Monday, August the 29th. This is an urgent alert, basically informing people that if I lived in the uh, North Anna Nuclear Lake area or downwind of the North uh, Anna Nuclear Plant, that uh, I would immediately leave the area. It was, would be especially the case if I had uh, young children or a pregnant wife. Uh, my reason for this is it's just now come across the uh, NRC webpage that on Friday, uh, North Anna Nuclear Plant became aware that, there, that the earthquake more than likely exceeded the design criteria for the uh, nuclear plant at uh, above the 5 uh, hertz level. And at the moment, because the plant's in an unanalyzed condition where, it's exceeded, where the earthquake has exceeded its uh, design criteria, the plant is in a significantly it is in a condition that significantly degree, degrades plant safety. And in essence, what they've done here is they've known since Friday, since the hurricane was coming, that the plant is in a degraded safety condition. And here's the NRC reports that basically show that. And they haven't publicly informed anyone, although they do say at the end of this note that they will... Uh, they plan on notifying the State Emergency Operations Center and the Louisa County County Administrator. Now, this is on Friday. One would think under these conditions with a hurricane coming in, inability to respond and an inability to go out and do further radiological testing in the, minute, in the midst of a hurricane, that the potential risk of exposure to the people living in and around the lake would uh, at least give a courtesy notification to those people. As you can see here, no public releases. Now, what's the interesting thing is, is the day of the the day after the earthquake, we had a North Anna plant spokesman say this. Massachusetts Congressman Ed Markey is now calling for stronger nuclear sit damage or radioactive leaks. When North Anna Power Station was designed in the 1970s, the design basis earthquake event was 6.2 and uh, so we were ready for this. We're, it, the design was ready for this. Obviously we now know that's not the case and they've known it since Friday yet they haven't informed the news media and the news media hadn't informed anyone else as far as I can tell. Again, no press releases. Now a little known fact and you can find this information out through documents on the uh, internet is the uh, greatest risk of fuel damage to a reactor, especially a pressurized water reactor like the one in North Anna, is during a hot shutdown and cold shutdown of the reactor. Well, it happens to be the mode it was in. At least as of Friday, uh, one of the reactors was in cold shutdown, the other reactor was in hot shutdown. It's just, it seems to me that they are taking the position of bad press is more concerning than the safety of the people around the area. It's not a condition I'd want to live in around there. And now that they're relatively clear that they've exceeded the design criteria for the plant, and they specifically state that in this unanalyzed condition that the plant significantly, from that perspective, has a significantly degraded plant safety. In short, what they've done here is they've said, and, and as far as I can tell, this is their basis for saying everything's okay, is that we walked around the plant, nothing looks broken, and it looks like everything's still cooling down. Therefore, we have reasonable assurance that the safety-related systems are fully functional. You know, from what I just pointed out on the probabilistic nature of um, failure or core damage to fuel rods uh, during shutdowns, that's the highest risk point. Throw an earthquake in on top of that, you've increased that risk point. And it's just incredible that they're not informing people of this, letting people make their own decisions. Especially people who live so close that by the time the information comes out that they need to get out of there, that they're more than likely already exposed. Again, why, this, why is this not being covered? Why are they more willing to say that things are uh, hunky-dory and when data comes out that things are not, nothing's said.